pink fairy, pink fairy, one, two, three. Come on, let's get cheer, cheer, fancy, cheer, cheer. fancy. Pink fairy, pink fairy, shop with me. Let's go to Target, Walmart, Walmart. And then, how's everyone doing? Pink fairy, pink fairy, one, two, three. Come on, let's get fancy, fancy. Hey, everyone. Happy Saturday. Look at the weather. And underneath this is ice. I don't know if you guys can see that. But now we are getting snow. Yeah. And it's really cold out. Where's spring? Where is spring? <laughs> I just want to show you guys that real quick. That's all. Okay. Now. This is the thing Haley's using to put in her room. She's using some of that twine in these. And then she can use these as backgrounds if she wants. But I don't think she's using this. She just want to. Hang this up on her wall and then clip them on. So, her and her dad's in there putting out the pictures now. So, I got all this. I am making a slow cooker pizza casserole. You need turkey pepperoni, a can of cream of mushroom, two cans of 15 ounce sauce. I don't have two, but I have one and a half, so I think that'll be pretty good. Um, any meat of your choice with some onion and 15 ounce is a pasta which is one pound cook the pasta like normal scrum up your meat like normal and then I'll show you guys the rest but anyways here's the recipe you guys want to pause it and use it you can and here's the directions you want to pause it and use it and I'm going to add some spinach leaf look how big of that leaf is just for some veggies, and then I'll probably serve it with some garlic bread. So that is our dinner for tonight. Yes, yes, yes it is. So, as always, let me know what you guys are having. Well, the meat's a little frozen. It's been out all day. It's 4 o'clock now. It says it takes about 2-3 hours in your slow cooker. But so, we'll be ready to eat about 6. My slow cooker seems pretty fast. And then with everything cooked, I think it'll be a okay. Okay, I'm gonna get this scrambled up and I'll show you guys the rest of it. Okay, guys, so I got that done. I got the meat cooked and the noodles done. Let me show you the next steps. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's all in the slow cooker. Let me walk over and get the meat. Okay, so you pour your meat in with the onion. That's good. You cooked your onion. I went ahead and added um, garlic and onion powder too. So if you guys want to do that, then you can. The recipe didn't call for it, but well, I did anyways. Yes, I did. Okay. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of spinach leaf in here. It don't call for spinach leaf either, but I'm putting it anyways. Well, go ahead. Did you get them all printed? Let me see. Hey, they got her pictures printed. Oh, yeah, they're going to look good. Yeah, they'll look good. Yeah, this is, awesome. the, this is the one that turned out on regular paper because it ran out. We didn't notice. Oh, the, yeah, okay. But... Yeah, I'll come and look at it when you're done. Yep, and then I got the other ones. Okay, so I'm, I'm just chopping spinach. Uh, or tearing it up, really. Like I said, it don't call for it, but I think it'll be yummy in here. You know? You can also add bell pepper to it. You know, any of that kind of stuff you want. Okay, that'll be enough. You don't want to do too much, especially with all this pasta. But I think it'll cook down. Okay? And then a can of your cream mushroom soup. You could probably also add whole mushrooms, black olives, green olives, whatever kind of olives you like. But I'm just going by what the recipe says. And if I make it, if I make it again, I'll probably, um, you know, add other things to it. But uh, Tim found this recipe and he requested it. 
So, okay. Let's go give it a little stir. See, once you stir it and get the pasta settled, it'll all go down in there better. I think it looks good just like this, don't you guys? <laughs> I bet it does taste good just like this. Okay. Got that in, folks. And of course, I'll taste test it for you. Yep, it looks good just like this. Yummy. Add another can of cream mushroom zip to it. But it'll be delicious. Okay. Now we got that all done. We're going to add our sauce. Chef Bordy. Mm, good sauce, good sauce. And this is just extra that I had. So I thought I would. It was in the refrigerator from when we made a pizza over the weekend. It's still goody. So I'll add that in. And now we'll mix it up. Give it a good mix. Probably should have got a different spoon. Never made a slow cooker pizza casserole. I don't even think I've ever really made a pizza casserole before, to tell you the truth. Make sure it's good and mixed, guys. I already got my slow cooker turned on. It's been on. This is already starting to get hot. Probably should use the handle. I did it as soon as I started putting the pasta one in. It says you can use any kind of pasta you want. Doesn't matter. Whatever you feel like using. Okay. Okay, I think that's good to mix, don't you? Okay. Put this lid over here, let that spoon on. Okay, now I'll put some pepperonis in it. You can use whatever kind of pepperonis. I'm using the turkey. I'm not going to lay them neat. I'm just going to spread them out like yo. Just so there's, you know, quite a bit in here. For sure. And the thing about this, this makes a lot. So, if you got a big family, it'll be plenty enough like us. Um, there'll be lots of leftovers. So, that will be good for lunch tomorrow. Or for dinner tomorrow if you don't feel like cooking again. We eat leftovers all the time. No wasting around here. You know what I mean. Let me grab my towel. Grab my hands. Just a tad bit. So. Okay. And then you put your cheese. Like I said, it says cook on high for two or three hours. I think. Maybe it says a lot. Let me look. I can't remember. Either way. Put some cheese. Yes, so let's put a lot of cheese. Should have used my liner. Guess what? I didn't. Okay, that's probably enough cheese. Probably more than what I should, but yeah. Okay, yeah, the recipe says you use. Um, four cups of shredded cheese, mozzarella, or you could put Kobe Jack too. You don't have to just do what they say. Okay. And then I'm going to throw some more pepper in top because it's a lot of pasta here. So that way you get lots of pepperoni <laughs> and it's kind of like a, you know, like a pizza. I think anyways, that way. And then I will be back when it's done because I know a lot of you guys like me to taste test. Because usually when I don't taste test, everybody's like, oh, I was, I was hoping you was going to try it. So, yeah. I ain't going to quite get all these pepperonis in here because this is a big bag. There's going to be quite a few left, so but that's okay. And we'll definitely get Tim's opinion on it. Somehow, he's the one that wanted it, right? 
Okay, guys, uh, like I said, I'll go back and uh, let me see. It says cover and cook on low for two to three hours. So I'm going to turn it on low because I don't want it to burn too fast until it's, you know, thoroughly cooked through or until you desire. So let's put the lid on it and let's let it cook. Okay, guys, here's dinner. Look what it looks like. Oh, at least I'm trying to it was good. And we're using one of her pretty napkins. So, yes, this is dinner. Ooh. My nose is itching, guys. I tried to scratch it before I flip the camera around and show you. But, yes, it turned out great. I think I like the pepperonis on top better because they um, cooked more. Where these ones look more of a raw, but I think this one tastes good. Okay, guys, let's try this. See how it tastes. I need a table because up here I can just go. <laughs> just shove it in. <laughs> it's hot though. It just got done. I was wondering how the noodles will be taste with the pizza sauce. You know what I mean? It's hot though. Sorry. Pepperoni. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Guys, that is so good. Mmm. That's delicious and it's something different, you know? So our schools are out for three weeks, guys. Three weeks school's out in Ohio. Someone in the comments had asked me. Because a couple people in the comments mentioned, you never answer comments. I said, I do answer comments a lot of times in my videos. So if you watch all my videos, you'll see it. And then I also, this shirt's like way too big on me. It's supposed to be up to here. The uh, things are. That's how it's supposed to be. But they fall down because I got it way too big. Yes, way too big. <laughs> um, but most of the time I answer in the in the video. If you watch my videos, you'll see it. Or I answer on Facebook too. If you're on my Facebook friend. Like I just did that one because someone asked me if school's out there. I said, yep, for three weeks. So they are out. Mm. So hopefully, like you guys all requested, a lot of you just requested videos with Haley, so hopefully she'll be doing some videos with me. Or she might even do some on her own, who knows? We'll see. This is good, we're gonna have lots of leftovers, because I decided not to do a salad. Mm-hmm. Very tasty, guys, very tasty. And it also tastes good with the spinach. Which you know how spinach is. If you cook with it, you can't taste it really. What else? There was something else I was wanting to tell you. So I can't remember now. What it was. I can't remember. But yeah, the you wrote it and I read it thing is. It's a it's a thing going around on YouTube. A lot of people has did it. Um, just read the comments. Because not everybody sees all comments. But it, I can also read comments and answer questions on there, too. If you guys give me enough questions. Because someone had asked for a Q&A, but I had asked for questions, but no one really gave very many, so. Yep, this is really, really super good. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to go out here and eat. If I think of the other thing I wanted to tell you, I'll come back and let you know. So, anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. If you guys try this, let me know. It's good. Mm -hmm. It would definitely be good with some bell pepper in it. And even whole mushrooms. Olives. Mm -hmm. That'd be all good. I'm doing all that stuff next time. And doing probably less pasta that way. Well, there's more room at Cook Down. So, anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you try it, like I said, let me know down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. I love you.